Cristiano Ronaldo. He's the second highest paid athlete in the world right now and has been ranked as the world's most famous athlete year after year after year. Today, we're going to take a look at his career, his fortune, and how exactly he spends his millions. Cristiano Ronaldo has a classic rags to riches story, which might have had quite an influence on how he spends his money as an adult. He grew up in poverty in Portugal, sharing a single bedroom with three siblings. By the age of 14, it was decided that he was good enough to play semi-professionally, so he decided to drop out of school. For many people, that would be a questionable move, but it worked out pretty well for Cristiano. In 2019, Cristiano made an outstanding 109 million dollars, the highest paid amount of his career in a single year. In 2018, he signed a four-year contract with Juventus, promising him $64 million a year. Not only was he set with an incredible salary, Juventus also paid him a $117 million transfer fee. It's pretty hard to imagine making $117 million just signing your name on a little piece of paper. But naturally, when you're a famous athlete, playing isn't your only way to make Make money. On average, Cristiano makes $44 million a year just from his endorsements, which include companies like Clean Healthcare, Tag Hour, Herbalife, and Toyota. His biggest contract, however, is with Nike. The contract is expected to earn him a billion dollars in his lifetime, extended far beyond his playing career. Considering he has the most Instagram followers in the world, I guess it should come as no surprise that companies would be willing to pay him such an incredible incredible amount. In addition to making money off of his sports career, Cristiano has gone on to open a fair amount of businesses to supplement his income. He owns two hotels, each called Pestiana CR7, which are located in Lisbon and Fuchol, Portugal. The hotel sports modern architecture and lighting with a football theme, complete with stadium pictures, turf, and black and white sports photos. He also opened a hair transplant clinic called Inspiraya in Spain and runs his own lifestyle and clothing company called CR7. So, he has his money tied up in several businesses and makes a fortune playing football. But what do you even do with more than $100 million a year? Well, if you're Cristiano Ronaldo, you spend most of it on homes. He owns over $27 million worth of properties around the world. His most recent home, a double villa in Turin, Italy, is worth millions of dollars. One villa wasn't quite enough, so he opted for two two connecting villas that overlook the city on the end of a private street. The home has eight bedrooms, an indoor and outdoor pool, a private garden, an indoor gym, and dozens of fireplaces to complement the vintage aesthetic of the home. Naturally, this isn't the only house he owns. Cristiano also owns an apartment in Trump Tower in New York City, which cost him $18.5 million. The New York apartment is the polar opposite of his Turin home. While his Turin home is embellished with an old world flair. The Trump Tower apartment took a much different approach. The home is styled in the maximalist style of Juan Pablo Molino, which includes several interesting patterns, lots of marble, and lots of gold. The apartment has three bedrooms, two spa-like bathrooms, and 2,510 feet of living space that overlooks New York with undisturbed views of Central Park and the Hudson River. He also owns a vacation home in Spain. Located in Mirabella, the $1.6 million villa can be found in a brand new exclusive development known as the Superstars Cul-de-Sac. Sounds like a place I'd like to live. The home is incredibly modern, with stark white features, high ceilings, and panoramic windows. The master suite includes a huge walk-in closet, a patio, and stunning views of the ocean. Of course, he can also look at the ocean from his infinity pool or sunny deck if he feels like giving himself time to truly relax. The home is also complete with a wine cellar and a full cinema. In addition to collecting homes, Cristiano is a huge fan of collecting cars, and the more expensive, the better. He currently owns 19 luxury vehicles worth millions of dollars. Just take a look at a few of the cars he owns. A $360,000 Rolls-Royce Phantom, a Bentley GT Speed worth $220,000, two Aston Martins, a $1.7 million Bugatti Veyron, and the most impressive of all, an $8.5 million limited edition Bugatti Cento Diece. There have only been 10 made in the world. 
world. And they can go 0 to 60 in just 2.4 seconds. Ooh, that just gave me the tingles. In addition to owning his cars, he does have two more expensive vehicles, private jets. His first, a Gulfstream G200 business jet, reportedly costing him $19 million. But he didn't stop with just one jet. He needed the biggest and the best. And with a record like his, can you blame him? He went on to purchase a Gulfstream G650, which cost him a startling $64.5 million. The Gulfstream G650 is often cited as the best private jet on the market, and I have to agree. Capable of seating eight passengers, the jet can be customized to fit the owner's needs however necessary. And whenever Cristiano is jetting off to Greece, China, or the United States, as he's been known to do, you bet he's doing it in style. Along with his cars, jets, and homes, Cristiano isn't shy spending his money on clothes and watches. In fact, he owns one of the most expensive watches ever made by Rolex. A Rolex GMT Master Ice, which retails for an astounding $485,000. The watch is set with 30 carats of diamonds and made with 18 carat white gold. He's also been spotted wearing a $160,000 Jacob & Co. watch and a canary yellow diamond ring valued at $261,000. So, there you have it, the wealth of Cristiano Ronaldo and what exactly he spends it on. What do you think of his purchases? What would you do with this kind of money? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoy this sports content, make sure to check out my my friends over at Nonstop Sports. Link in the description below. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. I'm Mr. Luxury. Pip pip to doodly do.